match, he was hitting the ball up to 100 yards past me. But this David prevailed. His short game skills coming to the fore, helping to supply a crucial point as GB and Ireland, also represented that year by the likes of Porrick Harrington, Stephen Gallagher, Mark Foster and David Howell, eventually ran out the winners 14-10. Walston home was a vital cog and gave the team an unforgettable early boost. That point uh, on the first day in the afternoon singles gave us that two point advantage going into the second day which was enough to hopefully see us through and, and that's what happened. Yes, GW beat TW and next year Royal Porth Call will make yet more golfing history by staging the first major championship in Wales, the 2014 Senior Open, featuring legends of the game from both sides of the Atlantic and beyond. What a prospect. Well, after hosting the successful Ryder Cup at Celtic Manor in 2010, this is a great opportunity to showcase one of the greatest links in world golf at Royal Porth Corp. It's a great opportunity for the whole of South East Wales to get behind what is a brilliant event for Wales. As is the Speedy Services Wales Senior Open, where Kim, the home favourite, has stumbled. Yes, Woozy hasn't enjoyed the ninth hole much this week. Par on day one, bogey on day two, and guess what? A double bogey at a vital time on payday Sunday. Woozy wobbles back to minus one. Whilst up ahead on the 13th, Phil Golding won't know that. If this goes in, he's in the lead, and he is. What a change around, Phil. Yes, all of that means a radical alteration in the pecking order. Woosden will not be a wire-to-wire -wire winner because he's been replaced at the top by Golding, with Barry Lane still in with a shout of retaining the title. The 11th hole, just 355 yards. You'd think it'd be meat and drink for these players, but not on this course. O'Sullivan, Dennis O'Sullivan, second shot. It's pretty good. But Dennis plus four now, slipping down the board during this final day. You know, the last few holes accepted. Ian Woosnam loves Lynx golf. He's tuning up nicely for the Senior Open Championship this year at Royal Bergdale. And next year, Kim, the qualifying for the Senior Open, to be played here, of course, at Royal Porth Call, is on three gems. It certainly is. Three more great courses around here. Ashburnham, near Thalethley, Pile and Kenfig, next door to Porth Call, and Southern Down, where I was once a member all those years ago. Brilliant places to visit. And that's a brilliant shot from DJ Russell. Tee shot on the par 312. Yes, and given his status on the European Senior Tour, he will not be required to qualify. Tremendous display this from Phil Golding. Out with the washing really after that second round 79. What a comeback and another superb effort. Not the first Englishman to come back here at Royal Porth Call from the dead. Michael Benalik in the 65 amateur championship final beat Clive Clark after losing seven of the first eight holes. Amazing now, Mark James, a bit part player, it seems, in this final round after, well, getting himself into a good position, missing his birdie putt, shoulders drop again, stays plus one. Worrying trend this for James because last week he was in contention at the PJ Seniors Championship at halfway and eventually he tied 21st. Terry Price. The man who has homes in Hope Island, beautiful place in Australia, and Barnet, in North London. Just missing out on his birdie there on 12. So he will stay on that plus one mark as well. No, Sullivan, at least to get back to plus three. Oh, yeah. Nicely done for the man who turned pro at the age of 50 after a career in banking. <laughs> Try to bank the biggest check possible today. Woosnam. He started playing golf on a, a golf course which had 15 holes in Wales and three holes in England. It's called Llanymanachville. 
glad you said that, not me. <laughs> Parfa, was he there? Uh, in his second senior tour season, Miguel Angel Martin, man from Huelva in southern Spain. Slides a nice one in there. Par putt for him. <laughs> Ironic expression. Finally, one goes in. <laughs> He's plus three. Now, we saw Mike Cunning make a birdie on the second, then bogeys on three and five to be out in 36. Well, since the turn, par's on 10 and 11, and it should be a par on 12 as well. The rain has relented, thank goodness, for the players and the fans. DJ Russell started the day on level par. This to get back to that mark on the 12th green, and does so. But up on the 15th, if Phil Golding holds his birdie putt, he will be three clear of Russell, two ahead in the tournament. What a transformation. French Open winner, 10 years ago. And how about this for an omen? He shot 66 in round one when he triumphed there. Is it his turn, I wonder? Could well be, you know. You have to say, what an outstanding performance from Golding. Remarkably, given the conditions, he's six under for the day, three under in total, and now leading by two from Woosnam. You know, many in the gallery came to see a Welshman crowned as the champion. But right now, their man can't seem to stop the Golding search. More from Royal Porth Call after these. Welcome back to Royal Porth Call and the Speedy Services Wales Senior Open. Throughout the European Senior Tour season, the pros gladly give up their time to take part in clinics for local youngsters, and this event was no exception. A vast wealth of knowledge and expertise was imparted to children from the local area. Next year, of course, the Senior Open will bring the likes of Bernhard Langer and Fred Couples here, and watching the best in the business, plus being taught by players with such a depth of experience, is priceless. One reason why this tournament has been so warmly received. 
Well, I think it's been an excellent week for the golfers and for Perth Call and, of course, for the Royal Perth Call Golf Club itself. Uh, bearing in mind what the weather has been, I think uh, they put on a tremendous show and I think it's uh, more than an unqualified success. It's a fantastic success. And we at Bridgend County Water Council are really happy and privileged to be part of that. But what of the outcome? Well, the weather might be alien for Arizona's Mike Cunning, but the big man from America's Southwest looks set for a second top 10 finish in as many weeks, even though an outrageous birdie here on the 13th was sadly followed by back-to-back -back bogeys. The smile off his face. Barry Lane here on the 17th. Well, he's not holding the birdie putts when he needs to on the back nine on Sunday. The defending champion makes six pars in a row, remaining plus one with just the par five closing hole to play. Meanwhile, DJ Russell goes bogey on 13, birdie on 14, and then bogey here on the 15th. He's plus one after paring the 16th. Five birdies, five bogeys so far for Oldcorn, and he stays level for the final round, one over for the event. That after a battling par there on the 17th. Was he desperate to claw a shot back on the leader, Golding? This is tee shot on the par 3 12th. It's a good effort. Par three there, but then a disastrous double bogey on the 13th, unlucky for him, and bogey on 14. Two body blows for the home favorite. Plus two now, surely too far back. Disappointing for Wizzy. And in contrast, upon the 16th green as Woosnam looks nonplussed, Golding had another birdie try. Not this time, but the par attempt would drop but he couldn't avoid a bogey on the penultimate hole, his first mistake of an otherwise tremendous round. Now would you believe Woosnam slipped back to sixth as Golding's taken charge, three clear, and it would seem with one hand on the silverware. Up on the 18th, this is the American Tim Thielen, a serial winner on the senior tour last year, three times in fact. He's on plus four, playing his third shot to the par five. Trying to claim a top 10 spot here. Oh, right at it, Tim. Tidy, as they say in Wales. Yes, only just made the cut last week at Mottram Hall. Not happy with his putting. Obviously, an improvement since then. 15th, last par three, 173 yards. Wind dying down a little bit now. Woozy would be glad of that. In the hole, they shout. He needs to go in the hole. Super shot. Tucked in there, nice little seven iron. The 18th, the par five, 504 yards, playing under its par this week, 4.69 on average. Couple of eagles, almost 80 birdies. Golding has that to add to the total and pretty much claim the title. See the breeze there blowing the flag against the players on this uh, 18th hole for the first time this week. All week the winds have been straight off the Atlantic Ocean. The only good thing about the winds and the rain down here, at least they're fresh. DJ Russell on 17. Great rescue shot that was for him. That's his third on the par four, so he will stay. At plus one. He loves Lynx Golf and he produced two wonderful courses, designed them up there in Archerfield, near the venue for this year's Open Championship at Muirfield. I'll be staying up there this year in the delightful town of North Berwick. Lots of happy memories there, great golf courses in that stretch of the UK as well. In Scotland, as Martin concludes his business, misses the birdie putt. Finishes in the top ten on plus four. Now a 65 today would be otherworldly. Golding has this put for a 65. Oh, so close. You know, Kim, this to me reminiscent of when Terry Gale won in Barbados all those years ago. Shot a 64 when everyone else was struggling. Golding, 66, 79, 66. What a difference a day's made. 
Could be a great success story as Woozy bites back. Back to plus one. Let's work it out. Three holes to go. Three shots off the lead. Trouble is, they're tough closers. Now Thielen for birdie on 18. As you mentioned, Kim, last year he won in Switzerland, he won in Germany, and he won in Taiwan. And I, for one, think he will win again this year, but I think you might be looking at the winner here today, Phil Golding. Every reason to be mighty proud. Closing hole. Good contest for second place. He's in the mix, Barry Lane. 67, 77. And that was for a 69 to close. He will finish plus one. Now, will he get a share of second place? We're yet to see. But a good week's work for Barry. Still jet lag, probably. Yes, I think it's fair to say that it's also been a good week for Andrew Alcorn. Yes, there's been frustrating times. Stalled on Saturday, as everyone did. Shot 77. But wrapped around that, 66 on Friday. Good stuff. And a level pass 71 today. A more than useful check. Ian Woosnam. Front edge of 16. Everything's got to drop for him now. Go on. Oh, not short, Ian. So he's still three shots back. Yes, so barring a miracle finish from Woosnam, Phil Golding is about to become a European Senior Tour champion for the first time. And given his display today, that's richly deserved. Mike Cunning, second shot on the 18th, has uh, found the, the wins on the left-hand side in the rough. Needs good control of the club face to the ball here, and he shows it. Still lots to play for. If DJ Russell can eke out a birdie on the 18th, he could well finish second alone. He's also found the rough on the left. Pin on the low front level. Nicely played, DJ. Yes, valuable as well, because the prize fund here is pretty rich. €29,336 for the runner-up. Phil Golding looks like banking a little over €44,000. 71 on day one, a battling 72 in the awful conditions on Saturday. And he completes the sequence, a 73 on the final day. So he will be flying home tomorrow to considerably warmer climbs. Mike Cunning, a satisfied American. On the 18th green as well, Terry Price to finish with a flourish. His tournament progression, well, it's worsened. Three shots worse every day, 69, 72, 75. Still, though, good enough for a top 10. Suffered a broken leg some years back, didn't he? Tripping over a clothes horse, Terry Price. Now, no such bad luck for DJ Russell. Well hold, an important putt, back to level par, 69, 73, 71 to close. You know, runner-up in the Scottish Seniors last year, runner-up at Conwy. In this tournament, Phil Golding is now going to be a winner. Yes, he knows it as well. Closed with 264s, you know, Kim at Fairmont St Andrews, then shot a 64 in the first round at Conwy. When he's on his game, he's virtually unstoppable. Yes, and the reason he knows he's won is that Woozy only parred the 17th. So even if this goes in, his third shot, he can't catch the Englishman. Shot, they say, and it is. Well, shame for the home fans and for Woozy. Couldn't claim his national open senior title, but he'll be back. Now, Dennis O'Sullivan 
in line for his first top ten since Mauritius in December 2010. Oh, well done, Dennis. Tremendous stuff. He's wintered well down in Naples in Florida, and he's back on tour, and at the age of 65, remains competitive. After a great first round of 65, set the place alight. Ian Woosnam, the former Masters champion, former world number one. Can he? He can't. Kind of sums up his last day, really. What a shame. Never mind, that's 65 on day one. He'll remember that for a long time. Woozy finishes plus one in a tie for third. You know, there were two winners here. The Mighty Lynx at Royal Port Call and Phil Golding, the only player to break par on the way to a very satisfying two-stroke victory over Russell, with Old Corn, Lane and a dejected Woosnam sharing third. Twice last year, only a month after celebrating his 50th birthday, Golding finished second in European Senior Tour events. This time, though, he wasn't denied, and you can guess the reaction of the Englishman after being presented with the coveted trophy. 66, 79, 66, incredible, and uh, but that's that sort of course, you know, the elements, the natural elements of the course. Uh, dictate a lot of the Lynx golf, you know, without the, without the weather, you know, sometimes you can make a lot of good scores and uh, I got lucky a few times, that, but like Friday and like today, my putter got working quite nicely. And there's an extra perk. Going to the next event on the schedule in Bad Ragaz, Switzerland, Golding's replaced Paul Wesseling as the early season order of merit number one. So it all looks very calm here behind me at Rest Bay at the end of a very eventful final day at Royal Fourth Call. In the end, the Welsh Dragon Woosnam ran out of fire. A new English Raider came through the field, Philip Golding with a blistering 66. Roll on next year when Royal Port Call hosts the Senior Open Championship. Roll on indeed, but for now, it's goodbye. <laughs>